welcome to the workshop for the Board of Mayor and Aldermen. It is 6.30 p.m. I uh, call this workshop to order. Um, let's do a roll call of those participating by teleconference. I will call the names of the members, and if you are on the conference call, please signify by stating present. Vice Mayor Brown. Alderman Coates. Present. Alderman No. Present. Alderman Waldron. Here. We have five present for this workshop. Or I'm sorry, four present for this workshop. Just a few housekeeping issues before we continue. We need to document that we are conducting this workshop by electronic means due to the COVID-19 pandemic, and it is necessary to protect the public health, safety, and welfare of the citizens, city employees, and elected officials from possible exposure to this virus. The workshop was advertised in the Murfreesboro Post on Tuesday, January 26, 2021. The agenda was posted on the city's website on Tuesday, January 26, 2021, and the workshop packets were distributed electronically to the board members on that same day. This workshop is being streamed live on Laverne Channel 3 and the city's YouTube channel. The video will be posted on YouTube as soon as possible following the conclusion of the workshop. I would like to ask all members of the board uh, to be courteous and not interrupt each other when they are speaking. If you need to speak, please ask to be recognized by me. After the caption is read for each item, I will briefly explain the item, then ask if there, are any, if there is any discussion or questions. Please mute your phone or computer if you are not speaking. Please silence your cell phones and eliminate as much background noise as possible. With that being said, are there any questions from the board members before we proceed? Seeing none, we are going to move on to the agenda. So on Tuesday night, I will have the prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance will be with Vice Mayor Brown. Should all have a copy of the minutes from the January 7th, 2021 regular meeting. We will have departmental reports in the packet. Moving on to second to old business, second reading ordinance 2021-01, an ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2020-2021 general fund budget. This uh, is an ordinance to amend the budget for the replacement patrol vehicle and uh, account for the insurance proceeds and the additional costs the city will have to pay for the replacement vehicle. Are there any questions? Hearing none, moving on to second reading ordinance 2021-2, an ordinance to amend Title 20, Chapter 2, Section 20-208 of the Laverne Municipal Code regarding Parks and Recreation user fees. This is a request uh, from the Parks and Recreation Department to amend the Municipal Code regarding the fees for the Baseball League uh, and Softball Leagues. Are there any questions? Hearing none, we're going to move on to the consent agenda. The first item is to um, approve donation of funds from Scott Equipment towards the purchase of a new canine. Uh, this will approve the acceptance of a donation from Scott Equipment for a new canine unit. Scott Equipment submitted a letter and a check for $2,500 donation towards the purchase of a new canine. And uh, Resolution 201006 states that gifts and donations are to be approved by the Board, or May Board of Mayor and Aldermen. Prior to the voting uh, to accept the donation or gift, the board must conduct an analysis to determine how acceptance of the proposed gift or donation will affect the city treasury and cash flow. Also, the board should seek legal advice to determine the legal implications of such an acceptance. The, this donation of funds will help the city purchase a new canine and save the taxpayers money for this purchase. There are no legal implications regarding this acceptance. Are there any questions? Moving on to B, approve city bids and purchases. And it is purchase of a canine replacement unit for the police department. So this kind of ties in with the previous one. So to authorize the uh, purchase of a canine to replace the unfortunate loss of Jacques. And the cost is $17,500. Is there any questions? Moving on to C, approve the contract with the state of Tennessee 
I'm sorry, the State of Tennessee Department of Transportation for the provision of a TDOT Global Navigation Satellite System Reference Network. This is to tie in with our GIS system, and uh, essentially it will allow uh, one centimeter accuracy for staff to complete surveys for utilities and for city uh, assets. Is there any question? Hearing none, moving on to D, approve change order number one for the water treatment plant filter rehabilitation project. And this is uh, to expect for an, the unexpected concrete removal that was required to replace the four 18 inch isolated valves on the 2003 plant side filter valve, vault valve. Um, and there is not an increase in the contract time, uh, but there is a, a price on this and the, the charge, the increased cost is $26,200. $25.60. Is there any questions? Hearing none, moving on to E. This is approved entertainment contract with Journey Resurrection LLC for the 2021 Old Timers Festival kickoff concert. And this is a contract brought by the Parks and Recreation Department to bring Resurrection a Journey Tribute Musical Act back to the City of Laverne for this year's Old Timers Festival. Is there any questions? Seeing none, we will move on to new business. First reading ordinance 2021-03 in ordinance to amend the fiscal year 2020-2021 general fund budget. This is um, a budget amendment to transfer $15,000 from the police training line item to the police canine line item. And it is paired with two of our other items from the consent agenda for the purchase of a new canine officer. And having spoken with the police chief, uh, they believe that this transferring this money won't affect their training as training is down uh, with COVID. Any questions? Hearing none, moving on to resolution 2021-03, a resolution to authorize and appropriate funds for an actuarial study of the costs associated with a political subdivision's participation in the Tennessee Consolidated Retirement System in accordance with Tennessee Code Annotated Title VIII, Chapters 34 through 37. And this is the resolution that we talked about last month that would need to be passed for the TCRS actuarial study. Is there any questions about this? And this is just a one, this is that one-time cost we were talking about. Yes, this is the, the one-time cost for the actuarial study so that we can... Going back to consent agenda, um, I couldn't get unmuted in time. What was the deposit on that entertainment deal for the Park and Rec. You mean the Journey Resurrection Tribute Band? Yeah, the deposit. We we had to make a deposit to. What was the cost of the deposit? Yes, in the packet under the summary, the contract price is seven thousand with a deposit of fourteen hundred. Are there any other questions in regards to resolution 2021-03? Hearing none, moving on to resolution 2021-04, a resolution of the City of Laverne Board of Mayor and Alderman to declare property owned by the city to be surplus to the city's needs and directing disposal of the same. And this we have a couple different items Hop over here. I believe we've got some desks, um, two wooden desks, and then a golden oak that are golden oak finish. Any questions about that? Seeing none, we're going to move on to point of remove board and committee members. First, we have the Board of Zoning Appeals. We have one term vacant, one term expires on. 
January 31st of 2020. Um, our longtime chairperson, uh, Mr. Bob Carger, has decided to retire. And um, so we have an opening for his position. And then the term for Elizabeth Dandler will expire at the end of January. Uh, the city has spoken with Ms. Dandler, and she would like to remain on the board. And then uh, the current applicants are Elizabeth Danieler, uh, Robert Joseph Subak Jr., and Jeremy Phillips. This has been advertised on Channel 3 and on Facebook, and you can submit applications for this board up till noon on Monday if you're interested. Moving on to the Construction Board of Adjustment Appeals. We have one term vacant, and we have one term that is expiring on uh, January 31st of 2021, that is Mr. Lance Lee. He would like to stay on the board. And then we have one vacancy. Uh, we do currently have two applicants, Lance Lee and then Tammy Russell. Moving on to economic development, we have one vacancy and uh, we have two applicants, Diane Sanders and Lou Ann Grandinetti have both applied for this board. This has been advertised on Channel 3 and on Facebook. So again, anyone who would like to apply can do so by noon on Monday. Moving on to D, Historical Preservation Advisory Committee. We have one term vacant. We have one applicant, which is Susan Anthony. Uh, again, we have uh, been advertising that on Channel 3 and via Facebook. If you'd like to have your application in for that, you have until noon on Monday. The Local Emergency Planning Committee has two positions open and we are waiting on the police departments until the vacant police chief position is filled. Um, Mr. Todd Griffin is no longer with the Red Cross and now Miss Emily Gerald um, is the disaster program manager for the Red Cross. She is willing to serve on this committee Next, we have the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee. We have two terms that expire on January 31st, that of Deborah Balthrop and Ms. Mary Jane Skinner. Both would like to stay on this committee. We additionally have three applicants for this, Rick Autry, Susan Anthony, and Laura Davidson. If anybody would like to apply for this board, you have till Monday at noon, and we have been advertising this on both Channel 3 and on Facebook. And then as an FYI, we have um, one term that expires on the Senior Citizens Advisory Committee on February 28th of 2021. That is Rick Autry. Uh, we will reach out to him to see if he would like to remain on this committee and we will begin advertising this position on Channel 3 and on Facebook and it will not be on Tuesday's agenda. And if anyone is wondering where to get an application, if you go to the city's website under boards and committees, you will find a PDR link or PDF link that is um, to that application or you can pick up one here at City Hall. With that said, we will move on to the mayor and alderman comments. Alderman Waldron. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. First, I want to keep let everybody keep the Robinson family in their prayers for their loss. And after watching last night's planning commission, uh, a lot of people is is asked about how come the the planning commission is televised with people in the boardroom and the mayor and alderman isn't. So uh, that might be a thing to to uh, kind of clarify. A lot of people just couldn't understand why are we doing this, mayor and alderman, this way, and the planning commission was doing the, the other way. So that's the only two items that I've got on the, uh, the deal there. But uh, I would like to have the uh, planning commission and the mayor and alderman deal addressed. Thank you. Thank you. Alderman No. Mr. Mayor, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can. I just wanted to 
the, the, the people that donated the money for the canine. That is a that that is awesome. Is that a I'm not sure who that is. Can you tell me who it is? That was Scott Equipment. Is that a is that is that that company up there on Waldron Road? Um, I I'm not sure if they're on Waldron Road, but they are here in Laverne. Okay. The reason I ask is is I'd like to maybe drop by if they are local. Drop by if you say something because I think that's a. I think that's a, a, a phenomenal thing for them to donate because everybody everybody loves job. So that's all I got. Thank you, sir. Alderman Coates? I'd just like to encourage the citizens out there to apply for some of these boards. We'd like to get more people involved and, and uh, we appreciate their participation. They'd like to put the names in the hat and see if we can get on these boards filled up and completed. Vice Mayor Brown. Yes, thank you. I just want to apologize for not being able to say here earlier when you called attendance that I was in the meeting. I just couldn't get my audio to work. That's all. Thank you. I do want to ask everyone to uh, keep the family of uh, Bob Simon in your prayers. Um, he has served this community in various volunteer capacities for years and years and years, whether it was the Boy Scouts, whether it was here uh, on boards and committees, uh, I believe he was an active with Box 100, and he just, he was a beacon for this city who will be greatly missed. That said, I call this meeting adjourned. Thank you.